Yes, we're told two Asian tiger mosquitoes were found in Romulus inside some kind of industrial facility. Leaders with the health department tell us that these mosquitoes are expanding their territory and it's time people start protecting their territories as well. This father wasted no time when he heard the Asian tiger mosquito is back in the area. When I heard I went and bought a couple more off, uh, spray cans are off. Right before family day at Belle Isle with his two year old Lana. I know the mosquitoes, they carry viruses. Kiwan Gray is absolutely right and health leaders want people to protect themselves. We do know that the Asian tiger mosquito can carry the Zika virus. Dr. Partha Nandy says if you get infected, the symptoms are typically pretty mild. Zika symptoms, they're fever, rash, headache, joint pains. You know, you can have red eyes or muscle pain, but can be serious for some people. Pregnant women, you can have birth defects as well. Many ask, how did this dark mosquito with a white line going down its back find its way in Michigan? It was spotted in 2017, 2018, and 2020. It's been kind of migrating northward. Um, currently, Michigan is a little bit too cold for them. But that didn't stop two Asian tigers from appearing in a tire facility in Wayne County on two separate occasions. Wayne County's environmental health director, Teresa Bretonkowski says they hitch rides on products like tires and pallets that are shipped. The fear is with the gradual climate change and warming trend that we've been seeing that they may, you know, find a permanent home here. They are currently in different parts of the country and surrounding areas. They live uh, year round in Ohio, so that's not that far away. Um, they've been overwintering in Windsor. She says the Asian tiger usually bites during the day, but doesn't want people to lose focus on the mosquitoes that we are currently seeing due to recent rainfall and floods. The native mosquitoes that we have around here can carry West Nile. Um, and other things like that. So that's a very real possibility right now. This woman tells us she can't seem to get away from them. Even when my husband sprays the yard, I still have bites. Dr. Nandy says the best way to protect yourself and your home is by getting rid of standing water in things like buckets and flower pots. What that does is prevents the eggs from hatching or the larva becoming these biting adults. And wear long sleeves if you can and use an EPA registered insect repellent. Get them cans of off spray in that insect because it, it works. It keep, them, it keep them away from your kids. You don't want no viruses from no bugs. Yes, just like that father and Dr. Nandi says, it's important to spray yourself with some kind of repellent like the one I have here in my hand. But it's important to make sure it's EPA approved to find out if the repellent you have or the repellent you're looking to buy is approved and registered by the EPA. Visit our website. For 7 Action News, I'm Nana Cintio Bonsu.